Hey, what's going on, guys? Kulach here, and welcome back into well, what was the $10 million cotton farm. Where we're going to try to make $10 million bucks on this cotton farm, starting from next to scratch. And you know what? Realistically, we're going to be doing that. Well, you know what? Let's be honest. Realistically, is a bit of a pipe dream sometimes, isn't it? But I digress. Guys, we've kind of changed things up a little bit. I mean, the $10 million is definitely within our grasp. Right now, we're sitting around a little under $6 million because... But honestly, we made an absolute ton of money in our last harvest. If you caught us live, we were minus what, like fifty thousand before the stream started? Five point eight seven five. So six million. Say just shy of six million. Yeah, you saw that right. We made almost six million dollars in one harvest. It wasn't quite that. It was pretty darn close though. So we've changed things up just a little bit. That's going to be the new goal: is to see if we can make ten million dollars in one single harvest. <laughs> We got to get through it. We've got to replant. We've got some field work to do. We got to make sure everything is tip top optimal. I'm going to spend some money today, I think, and we're going to start maybe upgrading uh, some odds and ends. And of course, we've got to replant all the fields, which will be about a million bucks by itself. So let's get out into the fields here. We're going to start with some field work. I'm going to throw some more lime down. We're going to neutralize these fields, get that pH levels just right. And, you know, like we've made a lot of fields around the main farm here. You guys can see like all the way around. This is one field that kind of wraps around our whole farm with the one laneway that goes all the way in. That's one field, guys. It's kind of crazy. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this, this cotton field. It's huge. She's huge. Just massive. So we got to get in here. We're going to lime all these up. And I still think we made six million bucks last time. Now, I could optimize. I really could optimize these fields. Don't get me wrong, I've been thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? We could throw a bunch more lime down, really roll these fields out, and get that 100 125% yield on these fields if we really took care of them. That's still not going to be enough because I think we were holding about 110 to 115% yield before. So the extra 10% is not going to be enough to get us to that $10 million mark, is it? I mean, I'm no mathematician, but I, I could count that high at least, I think. Anyways, I didn't do the math before I opened my mouth. Sorry. Uh, regardless of which, we need more fields, guys. And I mean, we've got what 200 hectares, I believe it is. So we've got to add roughly a third more. So we got to find an area that's going to work out, and I think I know exactly where that's going to be. Right beside, well, this field we just limed. Yeah, there's there's a lot of room right here, guys. But you know what? We've got a whole other section. That's, well, right behind us. Yeah, there's a whole other section right behind us where we can add these together. They've already been cleaned up. All we got to do now, throw some lime down and plant away. Look at the size of this field. There's tons of space back here. This is going to be perfect. Golly, it's huge. Yeah. But before we get into the field, you can see we've got two new fields here. This is the one on the left. is already. It's already been limed. It's ready to go. The one on the right, I'm going to throw some lime down first. But there's a laneway between here as well that I want to knock down just to um, we'll make life a little bit easier for us. So we're going to clean this up. We're going to have to come probably pick some rocks, throw some lime down on this, of course, as well. But this is just, you know, a little bit of we got a little bit of pre-work to happen here. We got a little bit of pre-farming work, pre-field work to clean this up and really, you know, take out all these little roadways. I'm sorry for whoever has the property at the end of this laneway. Um, you're going to have to find some other way now. We're going to we're going to take this over. My, my bad. Anyways. This is just going to make our life a little bit easier. It's making giant fields instead of all the little broken ones up here in the county. We've got just, you know, three giant ones now. Actually, you know what? I was looking at the size here, guys. While this is a fairly good sized field, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough yet. We may have something else to talk about later on. But let me quickly cut through the, this. We're going to go down to the bottom side here. We just need to get down to the far bottom. And then once we get down there, we can simply spin around and go right back up again. You can see this is the bottom. Like I said, this laneway here just kind of goes into the woods. It, it just goes down into the woods. There's a little pond down there. Whatever. No, you can't use it no more. It's my land. Anyways, we're going to go back up and clean this part up as well. But uh, oh, look at all the stones I'm getting. Man, it'd be great if it wasn't for the stones. Oh, well. We'll um, I'll take care of those right away. But I'll have a couple passes up and down here just to clean all the grass and the dirt and the weeds get this so it's ready to be farmland and then we'll we'll get into rock picking i guess this is gonna be a good sized field guys look at this thing yep, there we go rock picking time let's uh get in here we can shut the beacons off in a sec when we get in there but not a lot i mean probably what three or four passes i hope i can do this all in one load just just one simple load please it doesn't hold these things don't hold the elo does not hold a lot of rocks i'm not gonna lie 
It's but it's a long ways back. It's not a long ways, but it's a long enough way that I don't feel like taking all the rocks back to my farm. So I'll just throw these in the woods, I guess. Nah, we've got enough room. We got enough room. I'll just I'll put them here. I'll put them here. <laughs> you guys wouldn't like that. I know. We'll bring them back because eventually I can just sell these off, right? Maybe turn them into lime. That would probably be eh, whatever. How, how much lime am I really going to get from this? We'll see. Maybe we'll need it for like cement for our foundations. I don't know. Oh, we've got one more pass to make. All right, guys. So the fields, they're looking schmeh. That's not a word. So we've got to get back in and uh, we got some planting to do, or, well, some seeding to do now. And we got the old, the old school Great Plains cedar. We got our old case international should be um it's gonna work it's just it's a lot of, it's a lot guys i'm gonna i'm gonna set gertie up i think let's go into the field and we'll see if we can get this started and from there hopefully well gertie can take over once we kind of get things prepped and make sure everything's running right uh, this is a good system i love this this little cedar works great but it's a little on the small side for the amount we're going to be doing here I, at least my that's my personal opinion i know I, I, I know we could be out here all day and all night and, and seeding putting our cotton fields to, to work here but guys i think i think we might need to upgrade something i don't know we've still got another plant we got the other what the kinsey cedar as well we'll probably get that to work and we'll see how it's looking and maybe we'll discuss what our other options might be i mean we do have 4.4 million we've bought a bunch of land i still got some more stuff to tell you guys about but i'm thinking for now uh, let's just get let's just get some seeds in the ground, right? Looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna like Gertie fire away here. She's gonna work on this field. Maybe we'll um we'll get started the next. Who knows? We'll see how it works out. All right, Gertie, it's uh it's up to her. Let's uh let's head back to the farm. We'll let her take care of this, guys, and I'll see you in just a little bit. We'll see how she's doing. See how she makes do. She's doing her first headlands, just wrapping up right now. Looks good. Let's get to work. We gotta fill this up with fuel. We'll get this, this cedar out there. We're gonna take care of the other big field at the same time. We're, we're gonna be doubling up here. Let's go, um, Gertie. I hope you do well. Please don't don't wreck. Don't crash the tractor. Don't get stuck. Please. You know what? I'm leaving a lot of faith in her sometimes, guys. But we're gonna go across the other side. We're gonna leave her to her own devices over here. You're gonna regret that. I'm so scared. I mean, she's made it around. This is a pretty difficult field because, like I said, we have our farm that's dead center that you got to get around. It's, it's planted on both sides of us, you can see. All right, here's the new fields. We've got the one we used, harvested last time on the right, the new fields on the left. Everything's been limed. Everything is ready to rock. Uh, once again, though, we do have the one roadway down the middle here that goes down to our the cotton sell point. That's the where we got to sell all this cotton to, which is kind of convenient in a lot of senses, to be honest. It's nice having these two big fields so close so we don't have to truck the cotton bales all the way across it's right here it takes literally no time to bring them down just gotta get them down the hill into the valley and speaking of which this hill is a lot steeper than you might think it's um caught me off guard a couple of times already but i think all the equipment we currently have has no problem with it but i am noticing guys it's it's taken us it's gonna take us a, a hot minute to get this done uh, these are big fields and we got relatively small equipment for what we're going to be doing here. I need to think about this for a second. Maybe I can get a headland. Let me let me take a look. If we maybe looked at our steel use market, is that possible? I've got still got like four point eight million dollars. I think maybe what we could do is maybe just a little bit of an upgrade. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we should maybe do a bit of an upgrade. I think it's it's due. Maybe we should spend a bit of our wad here. I mean, yeah, this looks great. We can get through this, but. You know what would look better would be something like three times the size of this. I mean, look at the amount of field we've got to work on here, guys. We're getting through it, but holy shnikes. Um, Gertie, on the other hand, not so much. She's she's definitely taking her sweet, sweet time. Yeah, you know what, guys? Maybe let me get this field finished. We've got a couple more passes left to do here, and then we can maybe talk about maybe talk about an upgrade. Oh, look at all these stones in this field. I, I'm not getting those up, I guess. A little late now. Should have thought about that, I suppose. Should have thought about that.
Last field's done. Let's check on Gertie here. She seems to be having a bit of a struggle session. We're back at the farm. Around our main farm field, guys. And um, while she's getting this done, you can see there's still, well, a little bit to do over here. Uh, she's got the stuff done on the left side. She's got some stuff done up on the hillside behind us here. But the stuff on the far side of the farm still needs to be done. And you know what? I think we're going to need some new equipment to do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this filled up with fuel. But I think we're still going to need something new. Uh, don't get me wrong. This case has been great. The Great Plains love this setup. But I still think there's something better. I think it's time to resurrect the Steiger King, guys. Look at this. I am never going to financially recover. We've got a brand new 620, a brand new Borgo planter. It's the smaller of the two planting heads and the smaller of the uh, the, the trail cart as well, the seed cart. It's it's still going to be more than enough to plant. What we got left over here, I did spend my water. You can see we're down to $2.6 million. It's so worth it, though. It's so worth it. This thing is... Yeah, this has been, um, this is pretty sweet. Let's change that screen over. It looks cool. All right, let's take this over. We're going to go up on top. I'm going to finish off this field. We still got the other big field on the far side of plant. We've got some other stuff to talk about. We've got lots of planting left to do, but we need to, uh, this is going to make my life just so much better. It's, it's just, I mean, it, it's huge by comparison. This is probably, like I said, three times the width of that Great Plains, maybe at least twice, probably more than twice of the Kinze. This is way better. So we're going to see how this may, we make do now. I am a little bit concerned. There are some steep hills. We've got the big Steiger, mind you. This is the big guy. Should be able to handle it in theory. We hope it does. So fingers crossed. I mean, the, the horsepower should be there, but this is a big, this is, she's a big unit. We'll see how we make do. Let's bounce on in here. Nice and easy like. And once again, I got stones up in this section here that I continually forget to come pick. What do you do, guys? What do you do? All right, get this lined up, and um, let's get into it, shall we? I think we might as well just jump in. There we go. Uh, and once again, this is, the nice thing with this is we're fertilizing as well. The, the Great Plains we had, that one would fertilize, but the Kinze does not. The Solitaire does not fertilize at the same time. So uh, I'd have to combine fertilize afterwards with this. I don't need to worry about that. We can just set it and forget it. Let's get through this. It looks like we're just almost done the first first half i guess and i think that's gonna pretty much pretty much do it for this field really a couple of passes out here guys and i'm done this is not this is more of a test think of it that way this field yeah what was left was still significant but we've got some bigger fish to fry there's some big fields i still need to go plant yeah i spent a lot of money on this but we're going for broke guys we're spending we're going to make 10 million dollars in one harvest that's my goal right now 10 million i've never made 10 million in one harvest i don't think so 10 million bucks, one harvest. Can we do it? We're going to find out in a little bit here. We've got to get through the through the summer. We'll be, we'll be harvesting come September, October, I think. October is usually by the time our cotton is going to be ready. We've got a lot of um, a lot of stuff to get finished planting. We've got to spray some uh, some fertilizer on some of the stuff. I think they got missed. And that's pretty much it, though. I, I mean, once we get planted now with this new unit, guys, I don't need to really touch these fields. Okay, I've got a, a couple more passes left to do here. Not that much, but this is a lot more than... It. Man, it's deceiving. Totally deceiving. A couple more passes left to do. We'll, we'll get through this pretty quickly. Don't you worry. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried at all. See, there you go. Like 15 minutes later, and we're pretty much on our last pass, guys. Not bad. Slick... Oh, man. You know what? This might just be my favorite planting setup we've ever had to use. And um, the big fields we've got out here right now... They really are are utilizing this property. I could have gone one bigger. Like I said, we could have we could have gone an extra fifty thousand dollars. Got an extra. I can't remember what the size. The bigger one is. It's it's another another arm on each side. Do I need that? Probably, but it, it is a little bit extra money, right? And then you're dealing with extra turning radius. You know what? This one I think is the perfect size for this farm we're running right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to doing more with this. This is a great setup. Loving this thing. Done. I think that's it. Perfect. All right, we got to wrap this up. You know what? I think we may end up calling this. Should we call it for today? We still got stuff to work on, don't we? I think we should call it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Let's go back home. Uh, get some brown water for the night. It's been a busy day. It's been a busy day. Oh, big oof right now. I, You know what? We're I'm done planting for the day, I think. But I just came to the realization that, um, well, the other field I've purchased, I haven't really turned it into one field yet. 
it's still separate fields and i really need to get that done for tomorrow so that we have less work to do tomorrow got enough things to plant we got to still lime we might have to pick some rocks let's get at her oh boy i can't believe i forgot about this i need to i need to stay on this so we're over on the far western side right now and we've bought a whole bunch of fields to kind of go encapsulate one other field that we owned over here we own a smaller field we've bought in two other fields that are kind of alongside of it we're going to make these all into one giant field to kind of wrap around i think it's a stable and uh it might be a pigsty up on the corner here kind of wrap it all around there's a grocery store down at the bottom there it's a lot to take care of so we're going to make get rid of the roads first then we're on to picking rocks get rid of these stones nobody wants your stone i still got stones to pick everywhere else let's be honest let's make sure we get rid of these ones here for now shouldn't we yeah i think we should all right dump out those stones and i think i still got some time to lime oh yeah we do we definitely got some time to lime it's getting a little late a little dark out but we don't have that much to do i've got a little pass here and there but yeah i think we're good guys let's get through this line a couple passes here and uh we'll call it a day i'll see you guys tomorrow all right welcome back into march guys it's uh, it's a little chilly out but on the bright side we've got cotton plants coming up looks pretty darn good actually look at all our cotton coming up right now field looks good for the most part but yeah you can see if you if you look closely you guys can see um there's a problem we got a lot of weeds we got a lot of weeds i was like, fully unexpecting this of course we do have the john deere sprayer with the spot and spray so let's get in we're gonna knock this out we only have 37 percent in here it should be pretty close to being enough but there look at the weeds out there man there's a lot of weeds <laughs> there's a lot of weeds but in order for us to maximize our potential income with our environmental score as well as the yield I want to make sure I spray these. This is the best way to do it. For sure it is. Cheapest, really, in the grand scheme of things. We paid quite a pit, pretty penny for this um, the sprayer, of course. But it's it's worthwhile. It's going to pay itself off for sure just by doing this. And you know what? This doesn't take us all that long. We just got to get into this field and get through it. I, I don't know if we're going to need any more or not. It does look like there's an awful lot of patches of weeds as you kind of look through these fields, guys. Like, a lot of weeds here and there. A lot, of, A lot of weeds. We'll, we'll get through this it's it's just our day's work for march not too concerned about it. it this is easy work now for the most part guys we get through this and uh yeah the summer is open for us that's you know what's a pretty good deal having the summer you don't have to do any work because in the summer i'm okay with that <laughs> it's back not until like october november when when the snow's almost in the ground we get back to harvesting again but the summer i guess we're hitting the lake all summer all right before i start thinking too much about being at the lake Got one more field still to plant, guys. We've got the Borgo, we've got the, the Steiger. Everything is uh, ready to go. It needs to be cleaned up at some point, but uh, one more little bit here. Well, one more big field to plant, I guess. You know what? Great setup. This is working flawlessly so far. Yeah, I was a little worried it'd be too big, but so far, um, yeah, we've been able to manage on these fields and getting them around. It is a bit of a pain to get it into our farm area, and we're going to have to consider that when we build that coming up. So, yeah, it's we got to make sure we leave lots of space to turn this thing around. But uh, once we get into the field with it, yeah, the, she's she's super convenient. And, uh, yeah, it's just great to plant with. So, we'll get through this. We've got several fields in this area here to plant. Now, the one over on the right there, that's not ours. But everything over to the left is ours. We're to the right now. But you guys got what I'm saying. Anyways, we're going to get through this. We've got to go down right along the roadway. Uh, make sure I don't plant onto the road and hopefully no traffic's coming. But uh, we're going to be close. I think there's some telephone poles right behind me we're going to be coming close to here as well. Yeah, th that's always... <laughs> don't hit those. Always a struggle with this thing. I haven't got the distance quite down pat with it yet. And then all the way to the back of that tree line there. Like I said, this is a good another, another good-sized field that's really going to help us get to that $10 million in harvest. I think we've got a little bit more than a third more fields. Does that make sense? A little bit more than a third of the fields we originally had so we should be roughly about 300 acres hectares something along those lines i think we had 200 before we're up to 300 now and uh that should make us that 10 million dollars i'm thinking in one harvest and then we can go and really focus on building our farm guys don't forget i still have to pay off the harvesters as well which i haven't done yet yeah that's a lot of money actually I th we're, it's least to own i think we're down to about two hundred thousand dollars on one of them but still we got eight harvesters to get up to pay for all right guys we're pushing into summer 
we've got uh, the field that we just were planting last uh, last time we're just pushing into it now let's knock all these weeds out of here and i think off the top of my head i don't think there's anything else but man i've been missing all sorts of stuff it seems like i think i've got too many things on the brain right now because we keep on missing stuff but we get this done i think this should do us until the fall like everything's fertilized everything will be herbicided uh, everything's planted now uh, i don't i couldn't even plant i can't even plant cotton if i wanted to now guys so let's wrap through this as quickly as we can so um we can maybe get to the lake for the summer i mean that would be ideal i think they get rid of all these stinking weeds though no nobody likes you weeds i'm sorry you're useless get rid of these weeds and then i think it's uh, it's time to call it for the year and uh you know what it's i think we're in a year five right now it's this will be our fifth harvest and we have potential to make 10 million dollars in only year five but well you know what we could we're definitely gonna make it over 10 million dollars if we would have just sat back not bought all the equipment not bought more fields we would have easily made 10 million dollars on the farm by year five but the fact that we're going for 10 million in one harvest now um yeah that's that's a bit of a different challenge but i think we might be able to do it still she's gonna be touch and go i think but you know just just mathing it out in my head the size of the fields the amount of cotton we're putting down there's definitely potential we can do it so there you have it uh, everything is planted everything's seeds are in the ground everything's fertilized everything's been pesticided all the weeds have been killed off this uh, i should probably do some maintenance to some of our equipment look at all these harvesters i can't believe we own it well don't, technically the bank owns these but i mean we have them in our possession we own the title to them at least right kind of kind of sort of anyways we got this we got the borgo we've we've bought a lot this year guys we've spent almost well, five million dollars on plant on equipment planting uh and land it's it's been a lot we're almost down to about one and a half mil but i think it's really starting to come together i mean look at these fields this is going to be the craziest cotton harvest we've ever done and uh really looking forward to seeing if we can make that elusive 10 million dollars in one harvest off these guys decently done uh, there's a couple spots we missed right there but you guys can ignore that but man these are big fields we got a big harvest coming up so i will see you guys in roughly like five months all right have a great summer we'll see you guys in five all right it's harvest season oh, yeah guys we got, a, we got a lot of stuff to take care of things are looking good everything's coming up clutch right now i'm telling you everything looks good we got all our harvesters taken kind of care of i did a little bit of maintenance i think i still have some fuel on some of them but i mean look at these freaking fields holy shnikes that's a lot of uh a lot of cotton you guys now not all of them are quite ready yet i mean we didn't get this field done for obvious reasons it was the last one to get planted it's not quite there but you know what if we kind of time it out we go to this one last we go to this one's up here first we'll be good to go all right guys follow me let's head over to the fields on the far side we'll come back to the one by the farm here in a bit i want to start over that away past the trailer park yeah come on onto the road Onto the road, onto the road, onto, onto, lay, onto, lay, onto the road. And uh, we're going to go start on the far side, right in the corner down, right about here. Come on in. Yep. For everyone parked here, you're good. There's room. You guys can get in here. Where's the last? Huh. Where is that last? Where is the last cotton harvester? We got one, two, three. There it is. Oh, come on. There she is. Good, good, good. Four. Good, good, good. Thought I didn't hire enough people, but apparently I did. There we go. We got all four of them here. Oh, boy. It's, uh, it's time to set up harvesting. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're late, but you're here. That's all that matters. You, you know what? It's it's 9 o'clock. I get it. You got to get your coffee in your first. Get in the field. Let's go. Number one on your way. Um, we've got three more to, to try and set up. Um, yeah. Let's um, yeah, fi figure it out. Yeah, you just get, get in. Come on, you two. Let's go. What? That, there we go. Good, good, good. All right. So we've got all four cotton harvesters running through the field they they got their programming mixed up a little bit guys we set the gps on each one of them unfortunately um the last one decided to take the third one's row she's coming don't worry it's just gonna take a little bit not gonna make a difference i think it's all gonna work out i i think and now since we've got the four harvesters working on the far field let's do the the farm field the far field and the farm field at the same time We've got eight cotton harvesters running simultaneously. Simultaneously, eight cotton harvesters. This is fantastic. Get out there. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing great. Look at this. We've got... This is... Um, I'm sure there's going to be no problems. I'm sure this is going to work swimmingly, right? I think we're... We should be good. Look at them all go. 
a lot of cotton we're going to be getting. Wait till they start pumping out the bales, and I'm, I'm sure no one will crash into a bale, right? Yeah. First problem, we ran out of fuel on one of our, one of the, one of them is a little low on fuel. I just got I just got a call from it, and it's like, yeah, they we're a little low on fuel. Could you bring out some fuel? I had to buy a trailer, guys. I didn't even have a, a fuel trailer, so I, I got to fill this thing up. That's a lot of fuel. Let's fill this thing on up. There we go. In we go, please. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fill it up. Fill it on up. Um, I think I might have a few more we're going to need to do this with, to be honest with you. That doesn't seem like it's the last of it, guys. I'm pretty sure I didn't fill all these up. But for now, we can just sit kind of uh, back and watch as they go around us. Easy. Careful. Downhill. Don't, don't crash into a cotton bale, please. We're pumping them out, guys. Oh, yeah. $10 million harvest is a go. Let's go. Looks good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes, man, I don't even know how many bales we're going to need, like 50, 60 bales at least, something along those lines. I mean, we've got a few. There's a few on the far side. We've got a few over here. Things are coming coming up clutch. Okay, for our next small problem, guys, this trailer, well, it does a decent job. It only holds two bales. Decided to make life a little bit easier for myself by buying a trailer that can hold three of this flat deck. We can, well, realistically hold three cotton, big cotton bales. Yeah, it's and I mean it's just a, a little bit faster to load too, which is um always good in my books. Anyways, looks good. We got three bales per load this time. Yeah, just have to take these and go drop them back down below, and then come right back on up, grab another three. It, it's a, a little bit quicker to be perfectly honest. I mean, when we're talking, you know, 50, 60 bales. Yeah, we got to get something that's a little bit easier than just picking two up at a time. I mean. You do the math on that. That's 25 trips, right? We don't want to. We don't. We don't got time for that, you guys. We don't got time for that. Not the day. Guys, I actually think we're caught up right now. I managed to catch up. There's not too many other bales just sitting out here. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little toy going through the trees here. Can, we can do this. Best driver in farm sim. Best driver in farm sim. Yeah, we got this. Just kind of cruise right on through. Oh, I could do this blindfold. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's just kind of sneak on through. Go to the far side. We can see uh, from the top of the hill here, hopefully, we should be able to see exactly how far they've gotten, how they're making do down in this field. The cotton, she's coming off the field pretty good, though. Right up to the end. And uh, let's, do, let's go to the far side. Yeah, look at look at this. They're all they're just starting to grab stripes of it now. Look at the amount of cotton. We're gonna know if this is awesome. Oh, boy, guys, this is... This looks like this is actually pretty good. They're working out pretty much flawlessly so far. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised on how well this is coming together. And this is like the hardest field for us to harvest because of the shape. It's a, a very strange shape for uh, for us to harvest it. And it's just working out perfectly so far. And I mean, it, it, we're making tons of money on the far side too. I mean, we came back down here and there's another four or five bales just sitting here ready for us to grab. So let me grab a couple of these bales and I will meet up with you in just, just a bit. Let's go. Harvest is going swimmingly. Look at the bales we've got here, guys. We got to, you know, we got to be the, the the best backer upper in farm sim too. We're taking that title back as well, apparently. Gotta like just kind of jackknife this trailer in. You gotta just get, get just get it just perfect. Just get it past the shed, and then you're good to go. And uh, look at this. I mean, there's not a lot of room, but you can get her in here just just nice and snug. We'll drop off these three. I don't know how many we're up to right now. I haven't I haven't been counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like eight times like forty there. Does that make sense? It's not quite. Maybe 35 bales, I guess, something like that. Anyways, there's still lots out in the field to grab. 
Uh, I'm doing some quick math in my head. We're definitely looking good. I think we had 31 bales in the last harvest. So you know what? Is if we keep on trugging through this, we're going to be looking good. Um, hey, guys. Guys, what, what happened? You guys all right? Come on. You just... Really? i got to do everything myself, I guess. You know what? Minus the odd little problem like that. This has been perfect, though, really. Very few issues. They've kind of figured it out. There's been uh, some interesting decisions made at times, but they still managed to get her done. You know what? We're not paying a huge amount of money for these guys, so I guess what do you expect, right? But the fields, they're all coming off, so I really can't complain. One day of work and two of our... Three of our biggest fields, to be honest. We have one more field left to take care of tomorrow. But these fields are all done, guys. These are all done. Look at this. Harvesters are all parked, ready to go for tomorrow. And uh, we can't do anything else. I think I've got all the work done for today. I mean, I could probably do some field work if I really, really wanted to. That doesn't really sound like something I'm going to do today. I'm not going to lie. we got time in the winter, right? We've got time in the winter. But we'll park these over here. This is over beside the last big field. We've got our four harvesters parked here. We're not bringing eight over. We can't get eight working on this. This field's too small for eight. we got four. Should be more than enough. We got our trailer ready for tomorrow. All we're waiting for, we're waiting on you, plants. We're waiting on you guys. All we need is that cotton. Come on, give me that cotton. Hopefully tomorrow we have it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, I suppose. Everything's ready to go, guys. We're look at us. We're so proactive. Look at that. All right. Welcome back in. It's November. She's getting cold, but it's our last field, last harvesting chance right now. I'm gonna jump right on into this. We gotta get through this last field. This is our newest field, our last field to harvest. We're going to see what we got out of this, guys. It's um, looking pretty good. I mean, it's just just like last time. Really, only maybe a little bit easier this time. We've got the four harvesters going. I can sit down here, pick the bales up as they come off, and uh, we're going to get through this. This is easy. Yep. Field's already done. Like, literally took next to no time. Less than an hour. Less than an hour we got that cotton that harvested. Uh, we got a couple bales here. I think we might have to empty a couple more of these out. I, I've still got some sitting out. But uh, let's go take the rest of these bales all the way back down. That's This is it, guys. This is the last load, I think. I don't think we have anything left in any other har harvesters. I think I've unloaded them all. Let's go take them all down to, uh, to the spinnery, shall we? There we go. Spinnery's it's jammed down here. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too wet. Um, yeah, I don't really have a sheltered storage for these things. I <laughs> should have thought of that beforehand. Whatever. All right, we're just going to store these here for now, guys. Oof, get out, get out of the bale. Um, we're going to look at them all. Like, we're going to store them here and come, I believe it's February is our best sale time. So they, they got to sit down here for a few months. We're going to go through Christmas. We've got 1.8 million bucks in the bank account still. But after we're done with this, I think we're going to have more than enough money. Let's go home. So Christmas is come and gone. And now it's time for the real Christmas as I sell these bales off. Guys, I, I wish I would have got Santa to send me a new wheel loader for this. But we're going to struggle through this with the Bassy. Yeah, you've, if you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. Uh, the Bassy is not really suited for this. This is... I don't know if I can... Can I get it from the end like this? I think I can, right? I just want... I just need to get it so I can shove it. Oh, boy. Um, I just need to... I need to grab it. just need to stab it and then pull it back and just kind of just drive it forward. Like, that's all we need to do to move these into place. <laughs> this is going to be so painful to try and sell. Uh, you know what? I thought I was being smart by stacking these all kind of nicely, but I forgot what kind of struggle session I'm in for here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think we're good now. I think we might be able to get it past. Oh, there we go. See, now I got it. There we go. See, that's what I needed to do. Yeah, see, Santa should have brought Clutch a wheel loader, and we would have been fine. 1.7 million bucks. I think I could afford that. So, that was the start. 1.7 million. Keep that in mind as we get through this. I'm going to push all these bales in there. 1.7 mil was the start. So, I'm looking for 11.7 million. Can we get to 11.7 million bucks? Come on. We need to do this. It's got... I mean, you look at the amount of bales we've got here. We had 61 bales. 61! I think we got room for more still. I think I can do more. But 61, I'm pretty impressed with that number. That's quite a, that's quite a few. Let's keep on just push to shove. Just shove it in. Just shove it all the way down, please. Come on. Uh, the struggle is real right now, you guys. And the thing, I use this thing to load these bales for a while. Man, cotton bales, they're convenient, but they're also the biggest pain in the world. All right. Getting through the first little bit. Still got, like, look, <laughs> look at how many I have back here. Um, 
Yeah, this is this is gonna be great. Oh, you know what? It, it works a little bit better if you just kind of keep them dragging. I, I got it. I had a technique down pat beforehand. Not it's not doing so good right now. We're up to three point seven million. You can see, so we've made roughly two million bucks so far. Let's uh, keep on trudging through this, going for that elusive ten million dollar harvest. Please come on. I, it, it was a mission. It was it was a goal. I had to I, we had to do a ten million bucks. One harvest. I know it. I know it's it's gonna be close. Really, the big thing, guys, you see in that environmental score, that's helping out quite a bit. $21,000 environmental score per bale, depending on the bale, of course. But that's that's a substantial amount, right? That's, that's like 10% almost of the bale. Actually, it's, yeah, pretty much right on, this, on the button. Anyways, that's a huge amount. Like, that was way more than 10%. That's almost, yeah, there you go. That's perfect. That's like almost, you know, 15% extra on that bale that we're getting because of the environmental score because we took care of our fields. So definitely worthwhile. Coming down to the last little bit here, last bale. This is it. If I can load it, come on, get get get, get up on my forks, please. We're at twelve million four hundred dollars. Um, yeah, ten million, ten million in one harvest has been accomplished. One hundred percent, it's been accomplished. We've done it. This is uh, we're actually five hundred thousand dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars, six hundred thousand dollars over our our goal, guys. I mean, we're not hugely over our goal, but. That environmental score, like that made a huge deal by taking care of our fields. That was what put us over. If you think about it, that's 10 to 15% increase per bale. So if we didn't get that, we would not have made our $10 million goal. It would not have happened. Let's see Let's see what our, our final is here. What's our final dollar value? 12, can we get up to like 12.8? No, it's not gonna be 12.8. It'll be like 12.7, I guess. No, 12.6. There you go. 12 million, 600 bucks. Yeah, like the environmental score, 21 grand. That ain't, that ain't bad. Let's take a look how many bales. Look, you can see how <laughs> much we sold. Oh, man, we're losing money all over the place until this month. The actual sold bales was only 9,600. The environmental score, 1.2 million. Like I said, guys, that environmental score is really what set us above uh, the, the bar to, for $10 million harvest. 10 million and 900,000. That is, um, that's not bad. Now, I still have about 4 million bucks on the harvesters. I believe I need to repay so take that for what it's worth. Let's take a quick look at our fields. You can kind of get a, a little bit of an idea. I think I'm going to reset the analysis on all these fields later on. So we have a little bit better idea of what we're getting off of them. Because now that they're all set up and good to go, I think I can reset the analysis and we'll be good to go. I think. Right? Ah, fingers crossed. It's official. We, it's, it's officially the $10 million cotton ranch. We made 10 million bucks on one single harvest. Just the other day, and now it's it's time to rebuild. It's farm build day on the cotton ranch. I mean, typically we just worry about making ten million dollars on the ranch, but this time we decided to see if we could make ten million in one harvest. Why do I want to rebuild? You ask. Well, currently we have eight case cotton harvesters. I know some of you are asking why I bought the case. They're a lot cheaper, to be perfectly honest. We have eight of these things, and. Well, look at how messy they are. I've got no indoor storage for them. They're just sitting out here in the yard. That's all they're doing. There was an old building here. I knocked that bad boy down right off the bat, though. We've also got some more equipment. I would love to find a way to store inside. This stuff is ridiculous. Uh, the Borgo is huge. I don't know if I'm able to fit it inside or not yet. Hoping I can find some place to put it. And our old truck, too. I mean, I'd love to get this international inside a shop someplace. I would love to find a way to be able to store more equipment inside shops and buildings rather than having it all outside. We don't have any storage, really. It sucks. Now, if you missed it and want to see how we made this $10 million in one single harvest, click the link up in the top right-hand corner. I'll show you how we did it there. Yeah, there's a lot of fields here, but when you got eight cotton harvesters all running at the same time, you can get things done and pretty quickly. But I digress. For today, we want to build this little plot of land into our farm. I don't know if I can do it or not yet. This is a small plot of land in the middle of a big cotton field we've got. I want to knock a bunch of stuff down and turn this into a, at least a feasible or usable cotton area or cotton farm. Cotton ranch, really. I think we got to turn this into a ranch, so that means maybe horses? But we'll see how we go. Now, you'll notice that the slopes on this land are a little bit ridiculous. This thing is like in the bottom of a valley of this field. So we have to take that into account. I'm going to see if I can knock down all the houses, the shops that we have down here. I may knock some trees down. Really, though, like what I'm concerned about, guys, is two things. First of all, storage of our equipment that's a bit of a mess. And secondly, I would love to have some kind of a storage solution for, for bales. I would love to be able to find a way of doing that. 
We got some ideas, but we'll see how it works out. And then, of course, thirdly, I would love to have, well, the same amenities we have here currently, um, like being able to get all our seed and fertilizer right here on the farm, as well as fuel, because we've been going through a bunch of that as well. So let me get out the old sledgehammer. I'm going to knock all our buildings down here. We're basically starting from scratch, guys. We're starting from scratch on this farm. Let's knock her all down. <laughs> so there you have it. We're officially homeless. Um, I just saw something over here I want to take care of. Whatever, another couple thousand bucks is, is not going to hurt us, right? We need to figure out how we're going to do this, guys. Like I said, there's a bit of a low land down here. I need to maybe turn this into maybe like a waterway of sorts, a water storage area almost. Some way for water to run through here. I've never built a farm that's in the bottom of a valley like this. Usually, we build stuff up. We don't build stuff down in valleys. Let's move some equipment first and then get... Uh, Get landscaping. So we've got 12 and a half million bucks. Mind you, I do still need to pay off the leases, the rent to own leases on our, our eight harvesters. We'll do that afterwards. We'll see where we're at. There's no way I'm going to spend $12 million on this build. I just can't see it happening. There's just not enough space to really get into this. But I'm thinking like I want to build this bit of a drainage area right here is my main plan. Maybe, you know what? We'll build this into a bit of a waterway. So we'll start. We'll just start lowering some of the ground down in here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can build this all the way through. Maybe make a bit of a pond right in the middle here. we got to strengthen this up a little bit, that's all. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so it's somewhat deep, right? we can have it so it's uh, just shallow. We don't want that. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. So let me give you a second here. We'll see if we can build this little trench all the way through. And uh, it'll, be, it'll look a little more natural. The fact that we're at the bottom of this, this whole valley, right? Easy enough. Got a little bit of a drainage area right here. It's going to kind of... Water is going to kind of come in and go through. Well, uh, we'll get some water in there in a bit. In fact, I, I dug down deep enough. There is water down in here if we dig down too deep, but um, it doesn't look right. So we're going to we're gonna put some water in ourselves. Okay, so that's done. We're going to need to put some bridges across this on both sides as well. I'm going to try to keep it so the general idea of the farm stays similar to what it was. That makes sense? So trying to find the right bridges exactly to get across this, guys. I've got to take this into consideration that... Well, we do have the Steiger that has the duels on it. I think this is big enough. This is the Elm Creek Bridge, of course. Well, I think this is going to be okay. Now, we can start from that side. Is that going to be better? Or if I start from this side, is that height better? I think we got the bottom of this uh, little valley here. So, it's actually working out pretty good. I can put one in here. And we'll do the same thing on the far side. So, now things are going to change a little bit. I'm thinking we can get our house maybe to back onto this little pond. That might look pretty good, so have our house kind of sitting right down in this section here, where up on top is still going to be the main shop building where all our storage is for all our equipment. I think that's enough space for a fairly good-sized shop if we put our house down in this little corner. So let's see if we can find the right farmhouse here as I scroll through. There might be something more of a ranch set. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll find... That's what I'm looking for. Look at that. The brand new... Love this. This is great. Let's uh, see if we can slap this in here and find a good spot for it. And of course, we need the um, the matching garage as well. That's uh, that's like a must-have, right? I think we can kind of angle this in. Now, for what's probably our, our biggest problem is finding the right shop building to put down to store all of our, our equipment, guys. Um, I mean, we've got some massive buildings we could put in, but that's not really going to fit all that well. I mean, and I, this one even wouldn't work that well any, anyways because we need to fit... Like, the Steiger has to go in there. Those doors are way too small for that. So, that and, of course, the size. I can take that, take that tree out, of course. But it's still, like, it's too big, right? Like, I, I, I don't want it this quite this big. I told you to make it bigger! <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, um... That's not going to fit too well either, is it? But then you have these styles of, uh, of buildings here, like these Midwest buildings, that are just not quite right either i don't think yeah this is tough when you're going for like just one shop building that's going to cover all your bases it is not exactly easy i've got it oh i've got an idea i forgot about the wolf system lot yeah the wolf system hall guys this one might work out perfect there's a door on the far side right it's double but it's like bay and a half for going in so the, the steiger will fit i should be able to fit a bunch of those cotton harvesters in here and of course this one does change color right Yes, 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 yes. So we could kind of be yeah, brown to match our house. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. All right, shop is placed, and it's on like a bit of a different... I'm going to put this on like a little level here. We'll have to do a little bit of terrain fixing, but you know what? Considering we have $12.5 million or had, I've only spent like 300000 not even. Um, 
I got money to burn, you guys. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. I don't quite know what else I'm going to do up here. Like, vehicles can pull out here. Uh, this can be, like, a storage area for vehicles that... Maybe, oh, you know what we do need? We need a repair area. Maybe I'll put a repair area right here. I'll, I'll think of that in a sec. Everything else can work with this. Now, I've still got this far side here. And I don't have really anything over here. So we can put more storage here. But you know what? I, I kind of want to... Number one, there, there's no silo, guys. I don't have a silo on this farm at all. There was a silo here originally. We knocked that down because we were doing cotton. We only had cotton bales. I might be able to do cotton bale storage over here. And maybe some other... I don't know, but do we need a regular silo? I could probably get a small silo, but we also need... There's some animals I want to get, guys. I want to get animals as well. It's going to be a ranch. We need animals, so maybe we'll figure that out too. First of all, let's get this cotton bale storage figured out a little bit. Yeah, I think this is probably like the best bet right here. Look at like 100,000... 120... Or 1.2 million. I was saying 120,000. It's 1.2 million liters. That's a lot of cotton. I don't think we're going to have a problem with this. Now, where do I want to put this? Do I want to slap it back over here and keep it out of the way? And then I can put our horses. You know what? I kind of want to have a horses like a direct shot at the house. I want them in this centralized area, I'm thinking. We could maybe, yeah, it's, it's still fine though. I, I can put this back here. We can get rid of these rocks. And then, yeah, that'll be that'll be great. This, it doesn't take up any space. It's perfect. Okay, let, let me start by getting rid of the rocks, okay? Um... They're not worth anything. I know I originally talked about maybe turning them into lime. Well, whatever. It's a, it's a lost cause. Make sure I put them on the upside because the bottom side is where the bales were going to pop out when we uh, pull them out. I think on this far side here, guys, is going to be silos for seed, fertilizer, fuel, all that fun stuff. Let me see if I can figure out where that's going to do and what I'm going to put down for that. And you know what? I think I'm going to stick with the original one we had. Just it makes life simple. I want a little more space though up here for like using the Borgo um, since it's it's a little bit larger than well most things I guess out there. So if we leave it up here, just kind of slap it right there. That should be fine. We're going to need to do some terrain in there. The same with uh, liquids. We'll put some liquid liquid fertilizer up here as well. Kind of put it right beside for now. And oof. Um, hang on a sec. We want to flatten this out so they're on the same, the same height though. That's all. So flatten all this out so they're all on the same height. Gotta kind of tear this a little bit. Like this is the problem with this little this little valley we're dealing with, guys. Everything is going to be at different levels in a sense. So always going to have to get in here and kind of fix it before we place stuff down. So now we can go in, put down our containers, and we need the liquid silo. No, 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 no. Where is it? There it is. And that should be better. We can slap that right in there. I don't think I need a crop silo right yet. Maybe some kind of hay storage might come in beneficial as well if we're going to be doing horses, right? And, and speaking of which, um, holy oof. I, I planned on putting, like, this is the, the horse stable I was planning on putting down. Um, yeah, that's that's not going to work, is it? That's way too big. You know what? Um, open range even way too big. We, we've got a smaller one here. We can put this one in. And that's really all I need. I'm not planning on going crazy with the horses. We'll have a couple in here. But <laughs> there's all, the other ones are way too big. We'll put this down and then I'll put a little shed beside it, I think is my plan. Let's see, which one do I want to use? Okay, I think I, I found one I like. Uh, let's see if we can slap that. Oh, we got to change the color though to like a brown. A couple browns. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, not blue. Uh, Where is that? That's probably the closest one. Everything's kind of going brown on this farm. So, And now if we can kind of find a spot where... This is going to sit nicely up against there. Hopefully. Ooh, I got to fix that. I got to fix that. I don't like that at all. Got to fix that. Um, oh, Clutch, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, let's fix that up. Okay, there. <laughs> kind of fixed that up after I broke everything. Uh, that wasn't very smart. Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's try this again. Let's try not to break things this time. Hopefully, um, if I keep it far enough away, it should be a little bit better. I tried to ram it right up against it, I guess. Maybe that was the problem there. We can kind of put it over here, maybe? Fingers crossed. How's that look? That look all right? I can fix... Yeah, I can work through the rest. Now I can work with it. Don't do what I did beforehand, though. That wasn't good. And now let's see if we can get a little bit of hay storage on the far side right here. That, I think, is going to be the, the overall general feel of the farm. Now it's all about decorating. And that's going to take some time. Let me get to work on this. See if we can make this look pretty. Make it look like a real-life farm of sorts. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a real-life cotton farm or not. I just realized, hang on a second here. I got to check something out quickly here. Hang on. Please tell me this fits on the bridge. Please, please. Suck it in. Think thin. Oh boy. 
<laughs> doesn't get much closer than that, does it? Um, yep, that's uh, awfully lucky. Awfully lucky. I didn't check that beforehand at all. I promise you I did not. I mean, since I'm, I'm testing things, does this... Oh, boy. Yeah, see, this fits no problem. Does the um, the planter fit, though? Oh, oh, don't, don't hit the side clutch. Is it going to fit? If I Can I force it on there? Don't give up on me. You can do this. Suck it in. It seems awfully snug. So the planter doesn't fit. The planter does not fit on this bridge deck. That's uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Now, that being said, do I really care... Not really, because I'm going to be plant. The only time this is going to be pulled out is when there's nothing on my crops. Like all my pl all my crops are being planted at the same time. It doesn't matter. Do I need to store that in this? No, not really. I mean, I could find I could put some storage on that side. Really, right? We could store. I can store the planter on the far side, and then I don't have to come bring it back over here. Oh boy, can I get it out of here now? I'm so stuck. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Yeah, we're going to store it on the far side. I'll put a little shed over there, and we'll we'll pull, pull up like a pull through shed. Maybe like a lean-to or a pole shed or some sort? Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, I need an adult. I need an adult! All right, so for if you're wondering the uh, the depth difference here in the far side of this side, I mean, okay, we're like overflowing over here. You see it? I don't think it kind of... It's actually pretty good. It doesn't stick out very far. I'm going to fix a little bit right here, you can see. But on the far side, look how look how deep it is here. <laughs> um, there's not much I can do to fix this. Is of course, that the water plane mod is, is completely flat, so... There's no way you can angle that, of course. And if you put a second one on, it looks funny because it's different heights. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So you got to figure out a way to, to fix this. And there's a couple of different ways I could do it. Like I could potentially build a wall here and make it almost like a waterfall of sorts. Huh. I can't think of a way that would work out very well, though. Hmm. I think we'll be able to work with this. I had to delete the, uh, the water plane in order to place anything else or work on this, of course. I think that looks okay. Now we'll just have to... Um, We'll have to place some stuff down there, of course, later. Uh, let me just fix that. That looks kind of weird. Get rid of that. There we go. We got the dirt going around. I think there's some more up here. Just kind of give it a little bit of a, an edge to it. We need to do... We definitely need to place... We need, we need to figure out this the ramping and, and everything in here. Shouldn't be too, too overly difficult. Like I said, this is going to be... I'm probably going to make a workshop up here still, I think. So let's see if I can place that there. And then from here, we're just going to ramp this up. Just like this. There we go. That'll work. And that looks actually pretty good now. We have to do this side here as well still, which I want this to be somewhat, this is gonna be really steep to be honest with you. It's okay though. We start up top. We'll start the hillside here. Hopefully our vehicles can make it up here without an issue. And then we'll have to de uh, decorate this hillside as kind of a cliff side almost. That's better. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Cool. All right, let me finish off a couple more of these, and uh, like this side here has to get done as well. Things are coming together here, guys. I'm I'm actually not not too bad. I'm running into a slight issue here though on something. Um, well, I've already discussed it a little bit to be honest with you guys. I don't know what to do with my planter or my cedar. I don't know what to do with the burgo. I really don't. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me just get some more rocks down here, make it look a little bit prettier, like a little section right here where it's kind of rocked in. Uh, but I, I, I don't know where I'm going to store this the thing. My, my plan was originally to have it up in this neck of the woods right here, in this building. I can't really get it here easily. Now, that's because of these bridges. So, I need to have some storage solution over here. There's not a lot of room over here compared... we got our horse stable, we've got bales, we've got a small shed here for smalling some equipment, we got fuel, uh, seeds, fertilizer, and then bale storage. Guys, I, I don't have a lot of space over here for what I want to do yet. I mean, I could put, like, right in here, we could knock the trees down, maybe, but there's not a lot of space there. Um, I'm, at a, I'm a bit at a loss here, guys. It might have to stay outside, and maybe I can like, just clear a path. I don't know. It's a pretty bi That's a pretty big planter. Maybe, like, just clear this out and leave it out front. Not really what I want to do. Maybe down here? And I got a plan for in here, I think. We got to make something this doesn't look quite right. I don't know yet. Let me uh, build this thing up because I, I want to get this done. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. I'd kind of like to make it look like just a rock fountain almost. I, I don't know. We'll see. So we'll start by... Let's build this up. We'll build some terrain up in here. Nothing too, too crazy. Just I need something to put some rocks on. Basically, uh, just a little bit of of a an idea of what I'm trying to build. Let's see if I can get this built up a little bit more. 
please. All right, now let's just build some rocks up on the side of this and see if we can make it look kind of a little bit like a uh, like a, a waterfall of sorts. I don't know yet. We'll see. I've never tried this before. So there we go. That looks good. Now let's just put some seaweed stuff down over this neck of the woods. Now I do need to put some like decor around this. What can we do with that? If only there was like a, a running water mod of some sort, guys. I would love to have running water coming over this somehow. Like a little, I don't know, like a fountain of sorts. I don't know how you do it. But if you got any ideas, let me know. I would love to see it done. I think that would look fantastic. I would use it all the time, to be honest with you. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put up on top of this to kind of just finish off the top. Um, hmm. Yeah, I couldn't think of something that would fit there, guys. So I guess um, that's the next best thing right there. That'll work for now until I figure something else out. All right, so I just need to add some fences, maybe some other decorations just to kind of tidy it up. But I think we're almost there, guys. Let me finish this off. I'll show you around. Hang on a sec. So guys, we're pretty happy with everything, um, but I might have just run into a problem on uh, with the main, with our main problem, our main job. Look at this door. That's as high as it goes. It doesn't, it doesn't go all the way up. Guys, it doesn't go all the way up. Um, huh. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. I mean, I can fit, I can fit. But I, I can't... Come on, man. Why didn't you go all the way up? I looked at that earlier. I'm like, okay, I can fit through the door here. This is great. I can fit through this door. It's all that matters. And then it turns out I can't get the stupid door all the way up. Guys, I'm getting hosed here. Let's knock this thing down. So much for that. I can't believe this door. All right, guys. I think this is going to be the shop I'm going to try and replace this with. Now, it's not quite the way I want it to be. But I think I can make it work still. So I'm going to see if I can get this nice and close to our field. That's as close as it's going to get right there, you guys. That's all I can do, unfortunately. Oh, man, that's super tight. Super, super tight on that side now. I was not... Ho you know what? It is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed, guys. Considering we built this with the other one in mind, now we're kind of stuck here. This is going to work. Like We still have an open area to park our vehicles and move stuff around. This bay... Um, can I open any of these from the outside? Yeah, yeah, there we go. This bay here is massive, of course. Lots of space for equipment in here, which is great. I've got some work to do still. Let's move some stuff in here and see if we can at least make this look good. All right, guys, so it only costs about a million bucks to get this up and running. Um, the shop is a little bit smaller than the, the last one, of course. I still managed to fit all of our, our harvesters are in here. It's a, it's a tight squeeze. But they're all in here. There's eight harvesters. Plus, I've got two of the tractors in here. I've got the, the Masseys and the Case. Yeah, Mass and Case. I mean, they all fit. That's a thing. But still, I've got other equipment I've got sitting outside still, which isn't a big deal. It's mostly stuff I don't really use too much other than the truck, of course. Kind of threw a curveball at me, guys. I didn't really want this shop, but it, it's a nice shop. It, it's, you know what, it's technically nicer than the other one we had. It's just, it's not as much space. So I'm kind of... Well, I'm kind of stuck right now. And you know, while we're here, let's pay off our leases on all of our cotton harvesters just to see what we got. So the original one right here, I believe, yeah, 10 hours. Um, what What is the price left on that? 200,000 bucks. So we're going to we're gonna pay all of these back right now. So guys, there you have it. That's going to be the farm for now. The, the cotton farm, the rebuild. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm really kind of disappointed with that corner still. I got I to gotta do something with that. I'm, I, I noticed that it... Uh, did a little bit of something to the, the terrain there as well, but that's easy to fix, I think. Yeah, we should be able to fix that up. The rest of it's pretty good. I just need, I don't know, I think I undervalued the, the amount of space I was going to need. I mean, guys, I, I really need to find something for this. And I've got more land. I might just put a separate farm area back on over the one of the fields on the far side over there. I think that's what we might do. But I did not think that um, I would need this much land. Holy, do I ever need more more space? Just not enough space, guys. I'm all tight in here. I I dislike how tight it is, to be honest with you. We didn't have a lot of land to, to work with, so I guess Old Clutch here is going to have to figure out uh, something better to do. Look at that. That's hilarious. Come on. That's hilarious. Love it. All right, guys. Well, I'm losing my voice here, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this farm build from our big, crazy $10 million farm, whatever you want to call it now. If you guys missed the harvest, uh, check out the video. I'll put the video from the very first episode down on the card, so click on that if you missed this series, and uh, go check that out. Otherwise, have a great day, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.